As y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, we got the Stoger, however you pronounce it, STR9C. Uh, compact, 9mm. I've shot this already uh, about, shot about uh, maybe a, a 20, about 40 rounds through it. So far, no issues. For $120, not that bad. I expect to have some issues pretty soon, but haven't had any yet. All right, so like I said, I've only shot about uh, 40 rounds through this gun. Um, it's my first time. It's not mine's. It's my first time shooting this. Uh, hose 13. Uh, trigger is actually pretty good. Let me just give y'all up close right now. Not the ugliest gun in the world. <laughs> Not the best looking. For only 120. Can you believe that? Right. Slide serration is not that bad. Trigger not that bad. This texture back here is a little bit too much though. Bill drill. Didn't lock back. That's the second time it didn't happen. Uh, Actually, the first one happened with the compact, the subcompact. This is the compact. So, two failure to lock back. Uh, let's see. I missed, like, I don't know, maybe two or three shots. So, I tried to tone it down a little bit. But I got 193. Recoil actually isn't that bad. I, I guess I just wasn't ready. Because I kind of screwed up that build drill pretty bad. All right, as y'all can see, we're back at the house. And we're going to finish up this review. Talking about what I like, what I don't like, what I think about it, and everything that comes in the box. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, we're going to start with what I don't like about it first, or things I think are unnecessary or should be different, you know, you know just my personal opinion. Um, so, first, the trigger is a little too light for my liking. Multiple times I've had indies with this, uh, so I keep your gun down range, so all we're down range but it's just sometimes that first shot if you're coming up off the beep when you hear that beep and you're going for a drill press out and you get that firm trigger press before pulling the trigger and breaking the wall might accidentally pull the trigger i've done that and then the second shot you know after recoil the second shot goes off before i would like it to <clears throat> because the trigger is just a little bit too light for my liking some of y'all may like that i personally uh i'm not feeling it Next we got back here, you can see it on the camera, that sticks out a lot. It's very aggressive. Now, it doesn't really bother me, but I just think it's a little unnecessary and I don't need it that aggressive. Y'all may like it, but me personally, it's a little unnecessary for me. I don't need it. That's not a deal breaker for me, I just don't need it. And the finger grooves. I actually like the finger grooves. I know I'm talking about things I don't like, but the finger grooves I like. But y'all may not like it, so I'm letting you know. There are finger grooves on there because I know a lot of people complain about the Gen 4 Glocks and 3 Glocks have finger grooves. This does have finger grooves. And also, this texture is not aggressive at all. It's very smooth and slippery. But it doesn't really bother me a lot. I can control the recoil on here pretty well when I'm trying. So for $120, you're not going to get the site, the uh, mounting system. And apparently, they do come with them because in the back of this book... You can see they have it right there. And they also have a threaded barrel on this one. And it looks like some night sights or suppressor height night sights. So apparently they do have a tactical version. I don't know too much about this Stoger STR. So they have the undercut right here, but not right here. So that fits good, but this won't sit very good. I like the, the hook right here and the little bit of stippling. It's not aggressive as I would like it, but I put a light on my guns anyway. But when I don't have a light, I do tend to grip up there for a little bit more recoil control. So it doesn't really matter if I'm going to put a light on there. But if I don't have a light, I like that. And uh, another note, it breaks down just like a Glock. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all the inside just in case you all were curious. This is the inside of the frame or the lower. This is the spring. This is the barrel. And 
this is the inside of the slide. I guess we can move on to things that I think are pretty decent on here. The front and rear slot operations work pretty well. These three dot white sights are pretty decent. I actually shoot this gun pretty good. Um, I really like how flat the trigger is. I like flat triggers a lot. Like I said, I prefer the finger groove. So, and this this holds 13. If I haven't already said that, the mag release is pretty good. No issues. They are pretty heavy. I'll put the weight on the screen. So it says made in Turkey right there. So these are made in Turkey. And so malfunction wise, I haven't had any malfunctions. Well, the only malfunction I've had is just failure to lock back. In the video I said I had it like twice, but I shot it more after that and it just keeps happening. It just won't lock back for some reason every time. Sometimes it does, sometimes it won't. All right, now we can talk about everything that comes in the box. So this is your box and this is your cover for the box. Comes with this little book, comes with this tool. It also comes with the magazine loader, I don't have it. Comes with this right here, it says Stoker ST9. Comes with a lock and key. And uh, I think that's all. So that's pretty much all you get for $120. I mean, it runs, so. And I mean, you only paid $120, so what'd you expect? I guess now we can go over the specs and stuff. All right, so this is the STR9C. So barrel length, we got 3.82 inches. Overall length, 6.85 inches. Overall width, 1 and 18 inches. Overall height, 4.72 inches. Sight radius, 6.42 inches. Weight unloaded with empty magazine, 23.63 ounces. And it only comes with one magazine. You only paid $112, so. All right, these are the magazines. So, this is sold out. This is the website, their website. So, STR9, 15 rounds, $35. That's the STR9, uh, 10 round, uh, $35 in stock. Their magazine loader is $6. Um, yeah, this is the right one for the gun, $35. This is also fitted, 35, 10 rounds, that's 13 rounds. This is the same thing, 10 rounds. I don't know why they got so many of the same thing, that's kind of different. Pretty sure these will work with them. There's 20 rounders for $62, that's not bad. This is also the correct mag, STR9C, 13 rounds, $35, it's in stock. Now these won't work. These are the subcompact mags. Pretty sure this one will work. So 10 round. What the? It's extended mag with 10, 10 rounds. That's weird. I don't know. $60. Weird. I don't know. But yeah, this is the mag situation. It says rifling HR six screws. I don't know what that means. Semi-automatic short recoil system. Cam operated tilt barrel locked breech striker fire steel blade sight steel blade rear sight grip frame is fiberglass reinforced polymer with steel inserts slide is steel with black nitride finish barrel is steel with black nitride finish safety trigger safety loaded chamber indicator firing pin block out of battery that's pretty much it so my final thoughts on this is I like it uh so far so good haven't had any malfunctions besides not locking back uh would i trust my life with it new no. 420 dollars though is pretty good it's not a bad uh gun for 120 dollars but i wouldn't trust my life with it and i mean i wouldn't buy it for me personally because why would i buy this i could put my money somewhere better but if you're a collector and you're just collecting stuff i guess i mean one day i might just collect one of these but, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not telling you not to buy it, and I'm not telling you to buy it, but not bad for $120. Solid. That's all for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them down below, or DM me on Instagram. 
you can scan the barcode at the end of the video and all my socials will pop up. So, appreciate y'all tuning in. We out.